Morning you guys, it's Karen and I am sort of back. This is the first video that I filmed since my dad passed away just over three weeks ago. Um, the last video that went up was actually filmed on the day he died. I'd filmed it that morning and literally just finished filming and got the phone call um, to go over that he was, they thought he was in a coma. Um, I'm not sure if this is me back doing regular videos, um, but I know, I just knew that I, I wanted to tell you guys about this and the inky list hair care I'm going to do in a separate video because you know the point of of a lot of my videos is to let you know whether it's worth you spending your hard-earned cash on something and having the sort of full information. This um, grieving process is very unpredictable um, and I'm going to do a video about how I am, how I'm feeling etc over on my life as a zebra channel. I'm going to film that after filming these so because I'll probably be upset in it but I know that um, you guys have followed my posts on Instagram and some of you are going through you know, a bereavement as well and finding it comforting to know somebody else is going through the same thing. So um, I would ask you just to be kind with your comments because I have noticed that the slightest thing sets me off. I definitely feel emotionally fragile. So if, if you're going to leave a criticism just this time, please have a think, you know, is it really necessary to leave that um, or could it be said another time or just not said at all? Okay, so about this number seven, advanced retinol 1.5% complex. I was really interested when I saw this and um, you guys know or probably know that I have had really bad experiences with retinol and I have tried so many like probably 20 different types of retinol and it's normally my neck that has the major problem and it just comes out in big red splotches and you know it's not very good I've used everything from the ordinary to Paula's choice and everything in between um, and on my face it's okay but I would like to use something stronger because retinol is obviously the weaker version you know if you can use tretinoin um, or different they are much stronger so I ended up kind of giving up on retinol but um, I do like the idea of using something with retinol in it and seeing how my skin is and I thought I would give this a go this is called a night concentrate this is 34 pound um, at full price at when I bought this and currently as I'm filming this it's 25 pound as an introductory price I think 25 pound is a much better price for that for this and even that I think is a little bit expensive um, get 30 mil in here so not an awful lot so it's an expensive product I do like that it's in one of those little pump tubes I really like that that type of tube but 34 pound I think is just way way too much the good thing about number seven is though they often have vouchers or deals or three for two you know they often have a lot of deals so um, you can usually get things a bit cheaper um, the first thing to tell you about the ingredients are although this says 1.5 on the front it says 1.5 complex what that means is they are not using um, 1.5% of retinol they have mixed other things in and it's a 1.5% complex it is 0.3% retinol in here um, which is really good that they're actually telling you how much is in there I just find it a shame that they've put 1.5% on the front because I think that a lot of people will believe that it's 1.5% retinol and that's a very high amount of retinol there's the other ingredients in here are um, it's got matrixyl 3000 in this is a, a, a pet tide combined with retinol that's actually a really nice thing I think because although I've said before I'm not I'm still not convinced of the anti-aging benefits of peptides although there's something I'd be happy to use in my routine they are hydrating they do attract um, water to the skin and so it is a really nice ingredient to mix with the retinol I think um, there's no fragrance or alcohol in here which is absolutely brilliant I haven't videoed me putting this on my skin because there isn't really much to show but I'll show you what it looks like here it's a very very thin um, serum it's kind of a serum lotion type product and when it goes on it feels absolutely lovely it's really really silky it feels it doesn't feel greasy at all if but it feels really really moisturizing um I put it on and left my skin for a little while to see if it was as moisturizing as it felt so if my skin would get um you know feel tight and I'd be like right I need to put my night cream on because you are supposed to follow this with a night cream um but I left it for a while and my skin was absolutely fine so it's a really nice moisturizing hydrating product so I like that about it feels really beautiful it sinks in immediately you know it's not one it doesn't leave any kind of tacky finish it leaves a really smooth finish so I love that about it um the reviews for this were really good um a lot of people are saying they can feel a benefit to their skin a lot a lot of the reviews 
on on um, like Boots websites and especially for things like the number seven skin will tell will say that you know people commented on how good their skin looked within a couple of weeks I can only put that down to hydration because something like retinol will take months to make a, a difference to your skin and even peptides if they work they're not going to make a difference in a couple of weeks you know maybe the hydrating factor um, will make your skin look a little plumper um, but most of the reviews were good there were some that said they got irritation with this and it made their skin very dry um, but that is something again that retinol will do to your skin potentially so what is my experience with it well I've used this every day for two weeks except for Saturday nights where which is when I use my differin and differin is doing nothing irritating to my skin at all I couldn't even tell that I'm using um any kind of retinoid at the moment so I, I knew that it was okay to use this and whatever results I got would be from this you know whatever irritation etc because like I said the different isn't making any difference I need to step that up a bit um so I've used it every day within the first sort of three or four days I was really closely keeping an eye on my skin because it normally takes three to four days before I see the irritation that I normally get from retinol now I haven't been putting this on my neck because I just know that my neck doesn't like retinol. I suppose strictly speaking I should have used it on my neck to see whether it irritated it but I've had problems with irritation on my neck for a couple of months now just from allergies um or possibly products so I just want to leave my neck alone you know um and what I did notice on my skin from this on my face was little dry patches um but no I had no stinging and no irritation whatsoever just tiny tiny little flaky patches but nothing major nothing that you know you could literally just sort of do that and a little bit of skin would flake off nothing like what has happened to me in the past with tretinoin um and like I said nothing obvious that you couldn't just use an exfoliator um you know gently buff away it, nothing major at all just tiny tiny little dry patches so I didn't think my skin was irritated at all so I went in and used my glycolic acid toner from the ordinary and that's something I use and have used with tretinoin and with um different and had zero issues at all same with my lactic acid however this does tell you not to use acids with it but like I said when I, I've been using something that's stronger and it's been fine I used the glycolic acid on my face and oh my goodness it was stinging <laughs> really really stinging so that shows me that this is definitely having an effect on my skin you know the turnover process is working and I would highly recommend to follow their recommendations of not using acids with it so I have really enjoyed it it's a really nice feeling serum I haven't noticed anything amazingly different in my skin like I said because I wouldn't expect to um, retinol is going to take months before you see any major differences um, I would I repurchase this no I think it's way too expensive at 34 pound and at £25, I still think it's too expensive um, when you think that you can get a pure retinol of a 0 point, you know, you've got 0 0.5, 1%, and I think you can get a 0.3% as well from the ordinary for probably less than £10. Um, I, I just think it's too expensive. If it was like half price and so it was 17 18 pound i think that would be a better price but um for me it's not a repurchase just because 0.3 percent retinol is a great starter retinol but it's not a high strength retinol you know so what i think this would be great for is a beginner so although i wouldn't repurchase it i would definitely recommend it if you don't mind spending that amount of money um and you are a beginner wanting to start out with retinol i'm often asked what's the best retinol to try if you've never used anything before you know should you go straight to tretinoin etc etc I would say no try a retinol and see how your skin reacts and I normally recommend the 0.3% retinol from um, the ordinary but that is in squalane and not a formula that I love and this is a real luxurious feeling formula and it has the peptides in so it's nice and hydrating so I do think that this would be a great beginner retinol but try to see if you can get you know a bargain with it like wait until they do the three for two or there's a number seven voucher out so you can get a fiver off or you know something like that so that's everything on this product let me know what you have thought about this I, the only comment I've had so far is that somebody that's loving it after the first week like I said it does feel really nice so I can see why people would be addicted to it you know this is the type of thing I would buy just for the feeling of it if it wasn't so expensive um, but let me know what you think um, I'll quickly tell you what I've got on my face I have got on the Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation in 018 on my eyes is the Anastasia Norvina palette um, on my cheeks is NARS blush in sin 
My lips is Stila Liquid Lipstick in Caramello and I just used a little, I've got a few of these that I need to use up. It's a Clarins Instant Lip Perfector, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. And it's just like a little glossy type thing. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll speak to you again soon.